Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I want to add a search bar to our subreddits so that we're able to search all the subreddits. For this I'm just going to create a new subreddit, that way we can have more than one to search from. <laughs> create a subreddit and then I'm also going to create one more. And then create. Alright, so we need to create a search bar. How are we going to do this? Well, we're going to create a form on the index page and that form is going to go to an action. And then our action is going to filter out the subreddits based on the text field inside of the form. So if I type A in the form, then it will show the subreddits with A. So I'm going to go to my subreddits index page. And then what I'm going to do is just copy in this because I already have it done. And I'm going to copy it in there. And what we're saying here is form with URL, search subreddits path method post and that's really important do form form.search field title search so have an attribute we're going to search the title search on input this dot form dot request submit so it's going to submit on input and that's it now to make this form work you have to go to config roots that are b and you need to make sure to have a member post join inside of resources subreddits so make sure to have that to make the form work then we're going to refresh the page and we should see the form as you can see we do so I'm also just going to copy in the styles that I already have. So this is also very important. And what you need to do is basically just say div ID search results, because we're going to populate this div with turbo frame search results later using turbo stream. So now it should look like this. And the results are gonna go in there. And so as I was saying, what we have to do is go to the subreddits controller, and then we're gonna copy in this this method. And so we're saying def search if params title search dot present, then we're gonna say at subreddits is equal to subreddit dot where title I like params title search, else subreddits is equal to this. So we're basically saying filter the subreddits due to or according to the title search. And here is very important. We're saying I like and then question mark. This is safe against CSRF attacks. And this is also using the Postgres database. Which means that when I refresh, I think I'm going to get an error. And I already am getting an error. But uh, let's see. Okay, so first of all, we're getting this error. Missing partial. So let's go and create that partial. But because this is Postgres, we have to change our application to Postgres. Let me just check if my application is Postgres. It shouldn't be Postgres. Yeah, it's still SQLite 3, so we're going to have to change it to Postgres. All right, so let's create a new file, um, a new folder. So subreddits and then search results. Subreddits underscore search underscore search and then underscore results dot HTML dot ERB. And in this file, what are we going to put? Well, we're basically just going to render the search results. So here we have some styling. And then here, at subreddits.each.do subreddit. So we're rendering the subreddits and we're giving it a link to. And if we go back to the controller, subreddits controller, as you can see, here's the most important part that I didn't even tell you about. We're saying format.turbostream do and then render the turbo stream turbo stream to update search results partial subreddit slash search results locals subreddits and subreddits so basically we're saying update that div that we have in the index page it's the one here and update it with this this partial and and then give locals of subreddits at subreddits and subreddits is defined over here so if i refresh the page what are we going to get another error and that's because we're using this we're using sqlite 3 and it's and the code is using postgres the code is only available on postgres because i like is a postgres uh, function or method so to do so to fix this we have two options we can either change the code so that it works on sqlite 3 which works but only to an extent because sqlite 3 is less powerful than postgres so it's not going to work as well it'll still work but it's not as good or we can switch to Postgres. I am going to show you both of them. 
Actually, no, I'm just going to show you the, the only the only good option, and that's going to be switching to PostgreSQL. So what we're going to do is go back to the server, and we're going to say Rails DB system change, and we're going to say two, two, or double, double dash, two is equal to PostgreSQL. And yes, and as you can see, it's done. Rails DB create. Rails, let me try that again. Rails DB create. I had a syntax error the last time. And it's created my databases. And now this code is going to work. I'll just show you that it does. Rails S. And as you can see, uh, hold on. Hold on. A server is already running. Okay, I just have to stop the server, I think. And then restart it. All right, so now, now this code... Okay, 14 pending migrations. Run the pending migrations. And then, okay. I'm getting an undefined error, PG undefined table, error table ship, table memberships does not exist. All right, I'm gonna fix that real quick. Yeah, I understand what the problem is. So I'm basically trying to drop a table that I'm that's not there yet. So I can delete that. And I can actually delete these two migrations because they're just doing the same thing as, as this one. So yeah, delete that one permanently. And then now I can Rails DB migrate and it should work. Okay, and then now I'm gonna refresh the server, start the server again, and then continue, and then search. So, There's nothing on the database, so that's probably not why it's not working. So I'm just gonna create a new account and then add some subreddits and then we'll see. So now, as you can see, it's actually working and we're getting search, so that's pretty cool. Now, the most important thing is that you switch to PostgreSQL. If you do that, then this I like code is actually going to work. So make sure to switch to PostgreSQL. So we've successfully added search to application. It now works. All right, guys, so that was how to create a Reddit clone using Ruby on Rails. I know it isn't 100% complete, but we got at least 80, 90% of Reddit. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to learn Rails faster, check out my Patreon. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.